Hello, good afternoon. My name is Sławek Krakowian and I'm a QA team leader at PGS Software. A friend of mine, uh, Andrew Dolby, asked me to make five minutes movie about how we assure quality in uh, uh, IT projects uh, we are developing at PGS. Uh, well, for me, would be probably easier to make 50 minutes movie about that. It's really short time. Probably no one would uh, would uh, watch it from the very beginning till the end. So I'm going just to uh, tell you some basic facts about what is our general approach uh, that we are following when we uh, raise quality topics at PGS. And there is a very, very short presentation I've, I've done for that. Um, yes, I have it here. It has as, as many as five slides. So it's it's really short. Uh, so let me just uh, quickly tell you several interesting facts. So what is general approach that we have at PGS to quality assurance? Well, when I talk about the quality in IT projects, uh, I think that the um, the best way to visualize the um, the, the way we work is to look at this uh, graph here and it shows the how the um, cost of uh, fixing possible problems, bugs, defects uh, we have in our software, how it rises in uh, in, comp in comparison to um, to the um, phase of the software development lifecycle we are at. So, uh, as we see, uh, when we are in the specification phase, so it, it can be understood as a, a phase of a sprint or it can be understood more water, waterfall-like uh, as the, for example, phase of the whole project. So if we uh, catch uh, a bug in the specification phase, it's really, really trivial and uh, really uh, cheap to fix because it's a matter of fixing uh, some piece of documentation in only in one place, probably. And the further we go, so if we go through design, then development, testing, finally to production, the further we go, the more expensive it is to fix to fix a bug. So the worst case we may have is to let the defect escape to production environment. And then, uh, especially if our software is used by uh, multiple users, we will just suffer. So we do not want to do that. We not want to allow this. So everything we do as a quality assurance engineers is to is making sure that we are catching as many uh, errors as we can in the face of software development lifecycle when they were introduced so we do not let them escape further uh, so how do we do that? Well, the key part here is to include the testing team from the very, very beginning uh, phase of the project uh, so that we uh, are able to collaborate with all the rest of the team, like um, solution architects, uh, business analysts, all the stakeholders from both uh, customer side and our internal side. Uh, to work together on uh, good requirements uh, uh, so that we may sh make sure that all the parties uh, are on the same page and are, are aware of what, what the requirements uh, are. 
and we are very agile at uh, then so the testers um, review those requirements and if there is something wrong with them we just immediately raise the raise defects and and they are uh, just fixed but of course that's not all so it's not only about the requirements it's uh, also about more technical aspects uh, like um, the uh, testing itself and uh, i would like to also emphasize that um, the testing is very um, very zero to one uh, activity if you know what i mean uh, i mean that if you have any piece of software which is more complicated and more complex than hello world ap application probably it would have like enormous amount of business scenarios uh, that you can take even though if you have like uh, on the your web page like three fields and all every of that field is a drop down of 10 possible inputs the number of combination uh, multi is multiplied by each other so it, it makes you a thousand possible uh, cases uh, that should be tested here and testers are people who would assure the complete complete coverage for your application not running thousand uh, test cases because that's not possible and uh, we are just skilled in designing them in the in the way that we are performing as uh, few test cases as possible but assuring most coverage which is possible uh, going back to the presentation uh, what we do also is early integration testing so we do not wait until front end piece is connected with the back end we uh, we perform a backend testing so api testing we have great automation that covers a lot of regression issues and saves uh, a lot of time uh, and finally we as whole team uh, work on um, continuous delivery uh, cycles so that we know that we are able to deliver uh, fast and deliver effective and our time to market is just short so which is beneficial for the customers how do we do that well in my opinion there are four main ways to do that first we uh, are all the time very very close to the customers so we are um uh, planning uh, three amigos meetings we discuss requirements so we uh, constantly uh, require customer feedback on every little piece of the software we are uh, delivering uh, so we have uh, demo meetings uh, we uh, are trying to uh, deliver the, the documentation we are providing to the customer for the acceptance and so on and so on Second thing is the skill balance. We have people that are skilled in both technical and non-technical aspects. So uh, first of all, all our testers have very solid knowledge about software development life cycles, about uh, design uh, test cases methods, uh, about uh, the Scrum itself, which is the mo most uh, popular uh, SDLC currently. And we combine that with very good uh, knowledge about the um, automation about non-functional uh, non-functional characteristics of the software so uh, security aspects and so on and so on so the skill balance is very very important and in fact uh, some people might say that uh, it is enough if the product owner or end user would just test the application uh, well not really in fact uh, because uh, testing needs to be done at every every level like from the unit testing uh, via integration testing system testing to user acceptance testing and person who is not skilled uh, QA engineer would just not do that and all of those pieces are important in the process of developing uh really operational and uh, not bugged software third thing is tooling we work mainly 
uh, with open source tools, uh, like for example, for the automation or for, for performance testing, uh, but we also have a great amount of our frameworks that are, uh, that is our know-how. Uh, and we also use test pyramid approach, which allows us to automate quickly and, uh, and um, effectively with uh, reducing costs of maintenance automation. And fourth thing on us is a great experience. There are 140 people here at PGS Softwares that are QA engineers. We uh, have a lot of events like uh, workshops and we are well organized, so we share our knowledge. And we have great experience in many domains uh, like, uh, for example, insurance, banking, industry, automotive. There are very, very uh, um, big variety of projects we've done here. Uh, and we are pretty much skilled in all of the most important domains. And that's all. And that was very, very quick. It took me probably far more than five minutes anyway, but uh, that's only top of an iceberg. So if you would like to hear more about what we do, how we assure quality in the projects, I would be more than happy to meet you or to call you or to have a meeting or to host you in Wrocław maybe someday. Uh, currently, probably this is not possible, unfortunately, because uh, our beloved uh, coronavirus uh, thing, uh, but maybe someday. So contact Andy, contact PGS Software, and I hope we will hear each other soon. Thank you very much.